Educators are now better equipped to meet the needs of students through innovative action by the Ministry of Education's Curriculum and Material Development Unit, CAMDU. A recently held two-day workshop marked a key point of development in the second phase of an ambitious digital content project set to transform national curricula into electronic books accessible to students and teachers. Content writers and individuals forming the technical team received guidance on the requirements for the initiative from ministry officials. Expressing jubilance at the commencement of the second phase, Education Officer Gianetti George emphasized the value in harnessing local talent, thoughts echoed by Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus Sipal. The government of St. Lucia, Ministry of Education, and then by extension, our dynamic minister, Honorable Sean Edward, saw the need to invest in you and then to bring into fruition the reality of understanding that you can produce what we want in St. Lucia. After you would have created the curriculum, the books, that you would have done, at the end of the year, I am happy to say on behalf of the government that we will not close shop on the students and ask the schools or the government to pay another set of money to continue using the books. But because it is locally created, and then as I said, come do spare head in that, then we have the confidence that what we are going to give our students, it will not just be used by one set of students for one year, but over the years, they're going to get access to it. The initiative forms part of the interactive and digital content project launched by the Ministry of Education in November 2023, with five e-books created as part of Phase 1. The new phase will introduce e-books for integrated science, health and family life for Form 3, language arts, theatre arts and information technology. Forming a vital part of modernizing teaching tools, the project aims to enhance the educational experience by providing engaging and accessible digital resources. We want to ensure that every student in our secondary school realizes that the devices, the Chromebooks, the laptops that are being provided by the government will now have content and that the purpose for which the laptops have been provided, it will be used. So we are expecting that teachers will incorporate this valuable new resource into the instruction and make use of the digital content. With the addition of five new subjects, 10 ebooks will be available to teachers and students. Digital devices provided to students by the Ministry of Education will be outfitted with a full suite of ebooks for use throughout the year, offering an interactive and comprehensive learning experience. According to the Education Officer, executing the second phase of the project is a significant step toward a more modern and inclusive education system. With our digital content, it means that learning can take place anytime, anywhere, and that we can continue to use blended instructions in our classroom. Blended instruction should not be looked upon as a, a resource, a tool, a, a process that we use only during times of disaster. Like we had COVID, and so we had to use distributed instruction, which included blended. No, blended is the way of the world now. We have to incorporate our technology into instruction. And for us, we are pioneers because we are the first nation in the CARICOM in OECS to be developing e-books and digital curriculum. This, George says, is an achievement which should inspire immense pride. In September 2024, all Form 1 students will be receiving digital devices containing e-books on various subjects. With support for the creation of new digital tools, the Ministry of Education is paving the way for a brighter and more innovative future in education, also reaffirming its commitment to advancing educational standards and leveraging technology to enhance learning outcomes. From the Communication Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.